Hello everyone. Sorry for starting not in the Hamlet, but I was looking at the bosses again and trying to remember which one this crew was supposed to take on. And I believe it's the Brigand 12 Pounder. This sucks, but honestly everything is nothing that we'd want. We have this... Not convinced, I think he uses a lot of melee skills. And, well, this is the easiest boss, I think, out of the three remaining, so obviously we're going to go for the easiest one first. So, who are we taking with? We are taking Audit. She's got Zoophobia, doesn't matter, quick ref reflexes are always good on a Vestal, I think. She can, well, this is shit, but she can cure everybody faster, the normal, u usual trinkets. We are taking Honey Badger. He's been cleaned out, um, cured of his bleed thingy. I don't remember what, what he had. Bleed or blight? He had something bad here, so I got him cured. This, I think, only pertains to the fountains. Maybe also the pools in the coves. It shouldn't be a problem here. Precise striker is good, and we are taking this. So we got to take a lot of food because I need this accuracy. We need him to finish him on the brigand matchman. I believe matchman, I think. That's going to be his job because our arbalist, which I, who I wanted to take here with us, is still missing. And we are on a boss roll, right? A boss streak. I've actually gone on a short mission in between uh, this, uh, this episode and the last. What was it? I'll be back in here. We, oh yeah. Montecuti, who's uh, a great gambler who can only gamble, has actually lost us 1500 gold, which is stupid. Where is he? Here. Look at him. Skilled gambler! Skilled gambler, my ass! Alright, so. Vil is still. What's a necromancer's, necromancer's color? I think that's the name of the event that keeps her out. So she's out. Sea Pony is no longer a dad hitter. And. Rumpel is no longer fearing the mankind. We are slowly getting rid of the uh, the worst perks. There's still a fangophobia on Kitty, I think, that's gonna have to go after this. And I think that's going to be it for the really bad ones, and then we'll get rid of all the other stress problems. So, continuing, we are also taking Shaggy and Scooby. Uh, no, that's fine, actually, for now. He's going to be our backup killer for the matchman, so that no booms take place. He's a Warren's Folk, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Quick draw, fine. Healing received, that's so good, I really like this perk. He's going to take the Sun Ring and a little bit of tankiness. And we're also taking Renault. I had a reason for it. Oh yeah, because he does more damage when the torch is above and he's also a slugger, which is very nice. I have a hope that maybe he will kill the cannon faster, basically. Smacking it. It's not damage versus unholy, obviously, but it's not, not unholy. But also expeditious recovery might come in handy if we will have to deal with a lot of those bandits or something like that. So he's taking the bear, of course, and the recovery charm in case he gets shanked a lot or something like that. I was thinking about giving him the stun trinket, this thing, but I don't think we want the protection penalty. And also he's going to be hitting the cannon, at least that is my intent. If it will work like that, we will find out. We don't have a way to get rid of the disease, so we got a lot of those. Should be should be okay. Do we have the scouting thing? No, you know what? Yeah, we do. And do you have it? Yes. All right. So we've got plenty of scouting. We've got nighttime ambush prevention. We do not have a corpse clear, but we know now that only the frontline corpses are a problem, and we should have enough damage to deal with them. Let's take all of the food because he's gonna eat a lot. Let's take four shovels because it's the wield. Let's take let's take all of the torches just to be safe. Um 
Do we want this? Do we want this? We might get some money out of it. We're not going for money. We are going to win. Let's take some daggers. And I'm thinking about the anti-venom. We'll have to trash it soon. But yeah, let's take one in case we go into some really bad trap in the beginning. Oh, I forgot about the sound again. I'm sorry. I'll turn it on in a second. We'll have to play those later. All of them at once to make up for all the sounds I've eaten by accident. Or maybe I'll just go to the menu, menu before the fight and then reload it to show it right before the battle and make it glorious. Yeah, I might do just that. Alright, so first and first uh, options, audio, unmute. I was also browsing through the achievements for this game and I think there is an achievement for leaving everything as it is. I hope it doesn't count the stage couch, just this one. I think so, but I've been turning stagecoach on and off because I didn't know which one is bugged and which one isn't, so... That achievement might be rip. That is not good. Why couldn't this be connected? This is a horrible layout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Oh my god, it can be here, it can be there. Ugh, I hate this layout. It's a horrible layout. It might go horribly because of this terrible layout. The wheel is supposed to be all connected. What is this? What is this game? Why is this not all connected? Right, so f what do we want to kill? We want to kill those. I don't want to deal with all of this blight. He's not gonna move very well because of his trinket. Oh, I should have dazzling light as that one. And no, I could not stand the back one, right? That's fine, that's fine. It actually worked. Go for it. There is nobody to use this. I don't think the plasm thing cares. So finish him. It's very, very good. And the crit too. Good, good. Very well done. Honey badger. So we cannot reach there. Let's 15% damage. It's not that much. It's just smiting. It's fine when the zealous accusation actually helps, but it doesn't in this case. So um. I did not take the mark. Should have taken the mark. I mean, probably our bounty hunter has a mark, but he actually deals more damage, so I would have. But he doesn't have it either, so. There's that solved. That's very small damage. Which one do I want to die first? Probably this. Maybe this was a bad call. <laughs> Should have just. Regenerating. Great. Ah, oh, but. It's nothing. I just one shot it. So yeah, I think I'd rather just kill this kinda. It doesn't blight us. I'll try to kill the corpse with Reno here. I am cold. I have to grab something to put on and kill this. And how's this? That's a high chance done. Right. Let, give me just a second. I gotta throw something on myself. So I'm cold. It's just the middle of summer, isn't it? And it's just me. It's gotta be like 
30 degrees out before I'm happy with, <laughs> with how warm it is. Right, let's, uh, let's do this, since some people are scratched. Mm. And to get a mark from either one of those. I mean, Bounty Hunter's mark is better in that it uh, actually reduces protection. But, well, I don't know. Probably won't need the Hound's Harry, it's like, not like I'm going to use it, I don't think. Big slime! Alright, let's see. Ooh, I like the sight of this. Okay, let's see about this mark situation. We are not gonna use this, we can just use that. And you, you don't need a mark in this case. The stun would be nice, but... Yeah, we won't be using this because of this trinket. So might as well just take the uppercut. Mm, yeah, this has a higher base chance of stunning. Let's let's take that one. Lock strong. Sorry. Let's see what's inside it. Good. Good. Right. Sorry, I have to do this. This is this is the most important thing I have to do. Everything must be in order. Maybe we will use those once upon a time, one day, I don't know. Uh, we were supposed to use them on the flash fight, of course we didn't, because, like, it's me, right? Um, yeah, I don't think we'll have many opportunities to use the holy water in the wield. Ew! They can, I've heard that they can drop some funny trinkets. I have not yet seen a trinket like that, but I do know that I want him dead, because he does so much stress. Um, she can't stand that, it's a shame, I just stun whichever, they're both the same. Okay, so you just... what's the black for? Bleed, You can zealous them. It's not like they're gonna die. The less stress we get, the better. No jesters here. Mm. She's not gonna die from this bleed alone. Yeah, just... Decimated. Nice. Nice. Marked. Who marked you? I did not notice. Probably the lady there. I don't know. Yeah, probably when she pulled him to the front, she marked or something like that. Doesn't really matter. He's fine here. He's got a lot of HP and stuff. Smack this one, I want them to die on the same turn so there is no weird stuff happening with the corpses. Nothing shady. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Called you bluff, friend. I'll try to get rid of this blight maybe. Nope. Now. 
and it would die anyway. Ah, it was a law keeping one. So we've got plenty of those. We don't need this. We might get more jades. I'm still going to think that I will actually the use the doctrines. I will drop the torches. The nook and cranny and cultist witch. Kind of know what the witches do by now, I believe. Spooders! 15 HP, no resistances. Oh, I would use a hunt. Oh, no, I actually would not use a hunt's hairy now. It's, it's better to just delete them if possible. The light, the promise of safety. Overgrown Weber. People will benefit a little and mm, I kind of want this, but not enough, I guess. What's this? Ancient coffin. It's slightly ajar. Nope. All right, let's let's leave it be. Let's not be greedy. Not on the boss dungeon. There will be time to be greedy. I will probably maybe record one long dungeon. Like I was. I think I said it before that I might do it. Wouldn't I want this antivenom right now, huh? I might record a long dungeon of each realm, each location, after we are done with the bosses, I think. Just to showcase probably all of the mon all of the monsters and maybe some mini bosses, you know, just Chill. Psst. I could have stunned her actually, that would have been smarter. Mm, now we'll we'll survive whatever she's got in store for us in full one turn, I think, maybe. Perhaps. I'd rather cure him so he doesn't die by accident or something. Never know. Harmless swipe. Alright. If you say so. Hmm. Oh, that does no damage to those. I do not like tanky enemies. <laughs> not the biggest fan. Right, so let's, I think, stun. This will take a while. Might as well. And we can finish him. More damage versus stun. That's very good. <laughs> and um, yeah, don't don't actually finish him. Try to stun this one. I don't want to have to deal with the cults yet. I don't think. Maybe this turn is fine. Uh, finish him. 10 to 13, 9 to... Well, it's not a big difference, is it? Alright. Kill. I believe this should be fine. Squeeze one more heal and free crit. Sadly, on somebody who doesn't have any stress. Oh, now you blight me! Come on! Add another journal page. Well, I can't. I guess I'll throw out the dagger. 
take the gold because we will need this spot anyway. I can't fit this. There is nothing I can discard for it. I still think I will use In those. May we find I victory. am deluding myself. And I shall delude myself until this dungeon is over. And that's a fight after a fight, and it's, it's something ambuscading. Yeah, there is an ambuscading, quivering ectoplasm. Who do you want dead first? Them, I think. I'm not that afraid of the. How did they put it? The slime spiral of death? Might happen, but I do not want the stress, so they have got to go first. Um, does he have holy lens? No. Let's swap the positions then. We don't need a heal that bad. That's fine. That's fine. You could go. You know, that, that would be just fine with me. You see, he's gonna have to focus the slimes anyway. Uh, let's finish him this girl. You... This one did not move yet. Alright. That's the one that surprised us. The Ambuscader. Is that a thing? The Ambuscader. I mean, you can be an ab ambusher, right? So you probably can be an Ambuscader. Maybe not. I can't into English. What? Stop critting again. It begins. Hmm. Alright. You can't cure, heal, kill her, but you can get rid of the corpse, which is fine. So much for killing them first, is it? Cure the blight? Nope. It's the heal is nice though. Oh, stop it. Right, he's marked, so she's, she's gonna just fuck us in. Focus seem to oblivion. Good thing we've got a lot of those. Um, mm. What are they Success called? So Encourages. So where oh, are we? When will we camp? Delight. We might camp here, I suppose, before he breaks. I don't want him to break. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet food. be won. Right. So I think this is the. the Ah, uh, he does not have this cool preventing of the nighttime ambush. But this is actually good. He's going to prevent the ambush and give himself a solid stress relief. Let's... Um, for yourself. Let's do some encouraging. Scouting would be great. And we cannot scout anymore, but we can do more encouraging. So let's... We don't have to worry about the stress action. Wait. That's fine. Is struck. A blazing Did not get both, but it was not the highest priority. So. Mm, yeah, let's get rid of this. It's done it. Let's finish it. There, smooth. Mm. Mm, they will just grow blindly, but they can give us the blight. Ew. for crits, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Horrific. Let's get rid of this one first. Or we can mark this so that we hit it less times and get less horror, right? <laughs> Extra strats. Strats for days. Um, Spread the horror as well between people. You like whatever. Ferment if you want. 
Mm, and now we can hounds rush this marked one. No bleed, but it's fine. Fish for crit, there's a crit, good. That's that. I've seen, I've heard somebody describing Antiquarian and the Plague Doctor Hills as ghetto hills. So I, I liked it. I think we can call Vestal's stress healing ghetto hills in this regard. Because it's just fishing for crits. And sometimes it does work, actually. Sometimes we get a little bit of stress heal from it. Mm. Yeah. It's not that bad. Well, this is actually piling up. Stress heal plus four, but those will start to fair. Nah. We don't really have time to do this. Do we target whistle or do no let's do damage. Prefer to kill it this round. 9 to 14, 10 to 15. It's fine, that's a good deal. It's good damage. And it's dead. What now? I think that's the time for the jade to go. I will not discard this food yet. I have learned my lesson. That boss we had to go after the hunger tile. Hexproof, normal, no charmers, good. And then it's gonna be a guesswork again. Which, which place is the boss in? I wonder if the length of the hallway counts. I don't know. Mm. Let's try to kill them one by one. And stun, stun this one so she doesn't act next turn. But I guess Reno will kill her. I am not playing this battle well at all. I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's not a difficult battle, probably. But I am not playing it well at all. I am doing things that make no sense. Kind of worked, but the thing is the bounty hunter could have killed this. I didn't do that because she was stunned. That's basically the only reason to have done this last turn. It's silly of me, but... Uh. Can't all be perfect, right? I was thinking about taking his stress healing skill, but it's... Oh, that's such a small stress heal. I don't really think it's even worth it. I don't think we can really help him. Just fish for crit snope. I mean, we've got plenty of stress healing for camp, so it's not the worst. It's not like the siren fight when we were pretty unprepared for it. To be perfectly honest, I did not check, I did not buy it, I didn't even have the money for it. it kinda sucked. We should be better at this time. At least on stress. Everything, everything else can still completely fall apart. Absolutely certain. No bleed. Smite him. Good. Good. Who's this? You'll be able to see the pores on their decaying skin and the lack of flesh on their bones. It does not sound like something I'd like to see. 
but I think you might like to try it. What did it give you? Less speed, more accuracy, and crit. Eh, one battle, it's fine. So, do we use a key on this and risk finding a secret room and not being able to go into it? Do we go and leave it and then return for it if we don't find a secret room? That that does actually sound like a plan. Surprisingly. How have I not thought of it before? I don't know. Now we don't have a dagger. We don't have anti-venom. Do we dare touch it? We dare. Yay, treasures. Great. Great. Amazing. No. What a tiny effigy. Are they all this tiny? So basically, stress. Stress, stress, stress. He does stress, he does stress, everybody does stress. He's a corrupting slaver and ghoul too, will be camping, so it's not the worst thing ever, but... Which one do we want dead first? She can also heal. Let's stun this and kill her. Oh, the crusader can't. So he'll have to kill this. Well, we can stun her as well, actually. Stun everybody! This is why I don't want to take the other Vestal trinket. Not only does it give her less speed, it also gives her less stun chance and stuff. I'm just not a fan of that. Alright, so you just... Smite. It's unholy, so the Crusader should be hitting this. Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever you want. Uh, let's finish up. Ew. Good dodges. And he did not get a stress from it, even though he did not dodge. Well, don't let me complain. No crits. So... Click bounty. Try to stun it. Well Let's. Struck. This is gonna. Ew, this is gonna give us blight if we don't kill the ghoul this turn. That's 18 HP, we should easily be able to do it unless everybody misses. No, this we need. I guess it's time for the journal page to go. Or the torch. Yeah, maybe the two torches. Let's hope I don't regret this as I usually regret it. Yeah, no. No, no, no. no not this time. Maybe some other run. We are not actually going for the boss. Or maybe on the way back. We'll see. So I am very hesitant about hack fighting <laughs> after the regular one. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. There's a giant and two dogs. I think we should get rid of the dogs though. So they will die easier. And they can still do damage. We cannot stun him. We can stun the dog. Or we can get six healing. Hmm. 6% I mean that's not a thing. Oh shit. I'm sorry, just a message. Um, Alright. All good. Um Good hit. That was worth it I think. And a good dodge. Alright, so there is no stunning him, so let's just wail. And I was thinking about the expeditious rec recovery, but... Good damage, bro! <laughs> you gotta love him, don't you? Let's target Whistle with this. They both benefit from it. I... It's gonna... Well, hmm. not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of this situation, but it could be worse. I mean, he's almost dead. You can 
go back just one sadly but oh and he can't do anything from there either all right well this was pretty bad then that can hurt that really can hurt but we can hurt as well right, uh, let's reposition everybody I forget about it less and less that's good news and so I think that the smart thing to do would be go down now because the hallways are longer and it's not impossible plagued L go away instantly good, good job uh, it's not impossible that that means that the boss will be there because it's further because well, th is it only rooms or is it hallways as well I just do not know just don't know but let's assume so and let's go down like men the longer hallway they got such good damage rolls this dungeon I am very proud of them well, I guess he was envious of the compliments. I'm not gonna compliment you, you mushroom thing. You're evil. Let's try to stun this and maybe get heal? Maybe? Not curing the blight, but at least he's gonna be on full HP. I'll take it. Let's free more around it. And another Jade, seriously, game. I should have ditched this a long time ago, but I kinda want to collect them before the champion dungeons. So we don't find them anymore in the champion dungeons. Okay, so this scout did not tell us where the boss is. At least we know there is no fight in the hallway. I know, I know. Right, hunger check. That's fine. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Oh, we can get another cannon if one will not be enough for us. Okay, so let's uh, let's get rid of those as fast as we can. Resist the pull, it's fine. That is 44 damage. That won't be enough, just... Although... Maybe with the judgment or something? Ah, it will go first. So it's dead now. Ah, that's fine actually. No problem. Um. Yeah, let's... Ah, shame. This is what I wanted to avoid. Exactly. As it was meant to be. so you why not let's do the expeditious recovery that's kind of fun it's for one battle nice and it's right in the front so you just cure everybody no whammies <laughs> how do you miss a stunt guy this must be really unskilled Royal ectoplasm. Unforgiving. It's always the most funny when somebody who stunned it says that they dodged it. <laughs> A true display of skill, truly. Um, yeah, divine comfort once more. Very good heal. Let's, for, yeah, let's finish it. Nice. Pummeling. Now this will cytokinesis and we will get new corpses. Cytokinesis, just a slime smack. Oh, it stuns though. Mm. Mm. It's, it's all good. We have a 
chance to heal, another very good heal. And now it's second place. It's whatever. We know we'll just one shot it probably. Nope. Better to do it so it doesn't really start to multiply. And we can wait out this blight as well, it's not, not really bad for us. Hmm. Hmm. What is more damage? I don't actually know. Let's kill it. Just in case. Don't. We just killed one. Psh. Huh. It didn't die. Well then. Impressive. Hi, now if it dies now, it, we don't have to kill the corpse, so I think. Let's kill it there. We don't have to care about this. Psh. Wonder what it will drop, Royal. Maybe it will drop another tapestry for us. Wouldn't mind that, wouldn't mind that at all. So here's what I'm thinking. We can play it ballsy which means camp in this room and count on my instincts being right about the boss being here. But knowing my track record, I might be wrong, very wrong. Let's see, what is this uh, anti-coagulant? Uh, I guess you bleed. 420 gold, blaze it. Hmm. So here's the thing, we can camp here and hope that this room is the room with the boss. Or we can go through this hallway and the other hallways and have both of them open in case, well... Ah, blaze it. <laughs> Let's say that the gold was sending us a message. We are going to trust my instincts again and hope we don't regret it. Alright, so Zell's Vigil. And let's think about it. We are going for a battle. We have absolutely no buffs. <laughs> Just stress received. Party. Don't need this so much. It's not the most stress stressful fight. It's not worth it. Fine, let's release the hound in case we have to actually go the other way. And let's rest and see how my instincts were this time. got two shovels left so what's it gonna be game what's it gonna be was I right for once yep I actually guessed it right okay so that's 18 HP how much damage do you deal you deal not enough damage you deal not enough damage. let's hope he does it's a shame you go first so I think the first round we should actually just unload on this guy. Alright, that's actually fine. He will die from it. You can do the Dazzling Light. How much judgment would... 2 to 3. Oh, that... So much life! This fight will take forever. So let's try to reduce the damage we take, I suppose. 
I need to see how much our bounty hunter does to this guy. How much would you do? This would do just enough about this one. Ah, uh, this is dodgy. Um, but you don't have to this round, so let's just hit that. And you can't hit that, so let's just do the actually expeditious recovery. That's a good turn to do it. is not in a good spot for us. He has got to go for him. But it's not enough, so that's why I also took this skill. Just to be safe. Slice the dice. Sadly, we don't have a jester to help us with this. So... Do the thing you're here for and try to kill this cannon. Slowly, but sure. Mm. Sure. Yeah, I actually have to use both of them for this. This is too risky otherwise. Unless they crit, that's how it's, it will have to be. And he's going to try to whittle down the cannon on his own. <laughs> Everybody in tip top shape. No, that can't reach him. Okay, so that's a turn for the bounty hunter to hit the cannon. It was fun with the jester because he debuffed those guys that I did never, never touched. Maybe men at arms would be nice as well to just debuff those guys. Oh, I suppose the Vestal is keeping up. So, I guess whatever. As long as they don't start critting like crazy, but we don't have any stress. We can use the the, 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 the the thing when he next goes for this. Like the cookie. But it's not necessary right now, but maybe when he goes alone first, then we will use a cookie. <laughs> I might yet remember. It might happen. Okay, so... Mm, does Ling Glide on this? Yeah, he might. Alright, Cookie! Yeah, let's see. Noise. So it's for three rounds, this cookie, right? That's nice. I must remember about them more often. Good crit. Good crit, honey. Alright. Now Renal. It's fine, it's fine. Not as good, but it's fine. I'll give you that. So, it would appear that I have learned from my past mistakes with this battle. And it seems like a much safer setup this time. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> the cookies are power. All right. It would be kind of a problem if he missed it, but I have intentionally gave him gave both of them trinkets for accuracy. So 
so that it's less possible that they do miss this guy. I'm sure it's not impossible, but see, he's got the sun ring for 10, 10 accuracy and he's got the talent for 10 accuracy, so I have actually thought about it. Mm. Yeah, you know what? Try to just cure him maybe from this bleed. Yeah, good job. I am not comfortable with you going first and not hitting him though. We will probably good with the cookies, but why risk it? Alright. We are still whittling it down. This time this one. Are the cookies still active? No, and I actually remember. Ah. Right. Good. He that's not all 30% bleed resistance. Yeah, it's safer to just start with the bounty hunter on it if we don't know. If we don't know if it will work. Nice heal, Sodit. You are really, really doing work this this run. Almost all of the group heals are really good. Nice, good job. And again. Very well. 20 HP left, that's fine. It's quite alright. Bounty Hunter has so much damage, really. I mean, perhaps we should have marked, but I don't really know if we should have marked. I don't know if the mark really does a lot. I mean, it doesn't take his protection off. And it would just be Honey Badger's damage once ever, once in a while. It doesn't hit the cannon that often, so it's probably more worth it to just hit it like that. Exactly. Especially since we are not in any real danger here. Well done. Maybe we'll go for that hag. <laughs> I'm a bit afraid of those hags here, but maybe we'll go for it. Or do the other cannon, since we've got a cannon crew. But if I go for the other cannon, I imagine I might just do it off camera. <laughs> because two cannon fights in one episode might be a little bit too much. As you can see, this composition is doing pretty well against it. No real drama. Oh, I can't lick wounds from you. Shame. We don't have room for more stuff though. Nah, let's just leave. I'll go for another mission when I, when I will be doing the mini- <gasps> We were supposed to go for the chest there! Oh, no chest for us! Well, it sucks. That's my bad. The mini bosses are easier than the actual bosses, which is why I figure it's if I show the regular boss on on the video it doesn't really matter to show all of the mini ones. It's basically the same thing, just easier. This one very smoothly. All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. What happened? It was a yearning, a thirst for the Still missing could be Come on, Vil. Honey Badger Master and Reno is a champion. 
I am not the biggest fan of having three of those guys red already because from what I know it takes four or five of those in your roster and then the wolf can come and we are so not ready for the wolf to come so not ready oh by the way I have found another arbalest I have dismissed the jester because we got two of those and I really learned to like her so she's got quick ref reflexes which is very nice and the fear of mankind has got to go and it will go it I wonder how expensive it would be curiously yeah we can afford this I don't care to find a new one it's fine all right so <clears throat> what is like well we can already go for the boss in the wheel isn't that lovely? And it's a hag. Mm. Blight skill chance, blight resist, disease resist. Mm, that's pretty fun. Oh, it's trophy, so I guess every boss will have a trophy. A special item for them only. That's kind of cool. It's shiny, I like it. What have we here? The antiquarian candle of life not the biggest fan and we've already got this so both of those are kind of garbage to be honest I guess if we went we would go for the sunken crew then because we at least don't have this yet and collect it for the sake of collecting and I really like collecting so might as well get a lot of those two of those one not a lot of those but two Bullseye bandanas. I just I had to sell a few more of those because again I was short on money for supplies after buying some skills and stuff. It would be such a pain if somebody died right now. When was the last death? Week 61. Uh, it was the antiquarian that died. We are at week 76. I forgot how it is to lose a champion. I mean the character. The champion champion. I don't want anybody to die. I like them. <laughs> I like them all and I put so much money into every single one of them. Well, aside of the rock. Hmm. I remember them. Some of them. I remember how villain died to fucking spooders. It was so stupid. And I remember how Barrel Roll died, that's for sure. It was this. Acute hypertension, seriously. Seriously, Warrens. Still salty about that. Lucy, Lucy and Hugh. Mm. The Black Plague, yeah, that, that killed him. That definitely killed him. Super killed him. Everything with death blow resistance and well this is just horrible all over but but everything with death blow resistance diminishment is horrible. She was really good here, dodge and more dodge. I really liked her. What can you do? I would be so salty when somebody dies now. I have to be super careful. I am being super careful. Everything, everywhere I go, I'm trying to be super careful. I even have to cut the stream sometimes to do a 10 minute battle to be super careful, <laughs> reducing everybody's stress. Oh well, I guess there will come a time when the RNG will slap us in the face anyway, but not today. Today was a good day for us. I believe the next day will be the Sunken Crew. I have to think about who to take there. What to give them? It's going to be about this anchor thing. I think somebody said that this all hands on deck always targets the fourth person. So if the fourth person has a lot of movement resistance, then the anchorman will always nab the first one. And if he always nabs the first one, then we can counteract the stress it gives. For instance, by the pep talk thing, trinkets, perhaps even the virtue trinket. 
I believe we will be taking this with us for this dungeon. To and maybe we'll take the antiquarian. She will get her curious incantation thing. She will get a pep talk from somebody. And she will tank the anchor. I believe that is exactly what we will do. So it probably will be misty. You will she would have to have this unlocked. Maybe bank plank in this case I'll just unlock her equipment or whatever. And she'll be tanking the anchor. I'll have to see about this movement resistance. Or maybe just Well she can move forward. By two spots, I think. She's pretty fast, so if she was in the first spot, she could probably move herself into the first one, regardless of who gets pulled. And tank it. Yeah, that's that's what we'll try to do. And who else is coming? I'll have to see quietly on my own after the recording is over. Which will happen just now. So, I'll see you.